This was insane. Do I have a brilliant? Was the I have a brilliant move! I have a brilliant move! Let's go! Let's go! Those two minutes really paid off! Really paid off the rook! I sacrificed the rook! Oh. What's up everyone and welcome! Or welcome back to my channel! Chess Doctor here with yet another banger and in today's video we'll be playing some rapid chess why? Because, I don't know, I feel like playing some uh, longer time formats currently and I know that all y'all really love watching me rapid. Everybody do be requesting constantly, Zappa play some rapid. So here we are, we're playing rapid once again. So let us begin. Let's start, we're going to play 10 minutes because other rapid formats I really don't like. 10 minutes is only thing that I can endure. Everything above that is uh, literally way too much. So uh, let us begin. Let's find somebody to crush their soul and let's just start, okay? Because I feel confident, I feel like we can easily beat people here and I feel like we can just very, very easily win. Yeah, my rating is 999, <laughs> which is just insane. And he did be playing me this Horvitz defense, so we're just gonna push an e4 and call it a day. French defense, very, very annoying. Uh, I think we should just take this and call it a day because we really don't wanna we really don't wanna feel these pawns here today we really don't wanna have this blocked center we don't wanna push we wanna open up the position okay so uh, this is going to be wild because we're probably going to wait for a long time for our opponent to make a move uh, but we also uh, have more time to make a move so and think about the move so that's actually kind of good okay so uh, like playing rapid is I don't know uh, you can easily flag the opponents here uh, if you're a faster player. Let's go here because we do not care. We do not care, sir. Okay, we do not care, uh, and we can we can also give you a check. We can we can do the same thing to you, my brother. Okay, and you will do the same thing to me. Okay, sir. Okay, I see you. I see you. So we are going to do the same thing to you, my brother. Okay, we're going to copy you. <laughs> we're going to do the same thing because why not? Okay, he gonna ask me el question. Okay, okay, we're going to go back here. We're going. To, we didn't ask him the question. Okay, uh, but I just didn't really like this move. I don't know why. I I really didn't like it. And now if I push it, we're going to have a tremendous, very very bad position. Okay. So, uh, should we offer a queen trade? I don't think we should. We can actually just jump here and call it a day or call it a night. You already know I'm gonna say that, okay? So we are gonna do that. We are gonna do that. Yeah, we are gonna castle up as well, my sir. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, uh, but we do be chilling here, I think. Okay, this move, um, this move do be moving. So should we like go here for the dis El Discoveredo uh, or something like that? Because I feel like, like, I don't know where is he looking currently with the queen. I don't understand what, what are, uh, what is the purpose of this queen, uh, queen to d6? I guess just to get, get rid of the pin. So we're gonna, we're gonna like do this. I think this is going to like be a good, a uh, good pressure to my opponent because I see that he really values his queen as he should, of course. But like, he really doesn't want her to get bullied, so of course we're gonna bully her. I mean, come on, sir. Come on, sir. Oh. <laughs> Okay, guys, I literally it's uh, almost 7 p.m. here and I drank coffee now, so I'm full of energy I just do be I do be kind of crazy cooking crazy looking uh, <laughs> But we're equal in this position. That's what I hate. That's what I hate I would rather be down three or four points of material than to be in an equal position Okay, why because it's really strangling to be in an equal position. Okay. I really don't like it I really I just it's it's very unfair annoying okay so he do be asking me a, a question here and of course we have to react to that uh, but I think we should go uh, like here that is actually very good I mean we're not currently threatening checkmate but if we somehow get rid of this knight we could actually be threatening some checkmates here I mean he can jump here though uh, and we can just look at him <laughs> We just do be looking and not cooking at that point, but like we can also do probably something, okay? 
Uh, I think we should just ask a question here and definitely develop this horse because I forgot about that part. I forgot about that part. Okay, are we gonna go here, exchange the horse and then deliver a checkmate? I think that's that's what I should do. Okay, so we're gonna go back here. We're gonna bully the queen some more, sir. We're gonna bully the queen some more. <laughs> I'm so excited for doing absolutely nothing on the board, which is just ridiculous. But if I win this game... Okay, we're going to exchange this, and I think I think we just won here. Because if he takes back here or here, doesn't matter. Uh, we're still delivering that checkmate, so he ha we just won the piece. If nothing else, if we don't deliver the checkmate... Okay, we won the game, we won the game. Let's go, guys, let's go. Okay. Okay, we do be 1000 once again. Let's go. Let's go. I think I think rapid chess should be like relaxing and everything should be like very quiet and nice. But I just can't be quiet, sir. I just can't be quiet because I'm so excited about playing these games because this was ridiculous, okay? And I honestly want to game review this one because I felt very like equal the whole time, but I ended up winning. So I'm wondering, uh, did I make a great move or did my opponent just make a blunder, okay? Okay, good accuracy, 85.9, let's go, sir, 63.7 for my opponent, not so much, not so good, but, like, it's, it's a okay, for a 900, it's a okay, we have a great move, uh, which was, of course, capturing a free piece, and uh, they do be estimating me 1400, 40... They do be estimating me 1400 for what? I don't know. I just do be moving pieces and that's it. So uh, we just literally subliminally won this one. Uh, Queen d3 was a miss. Uh, what should we have done? Because it really felt like this move was cooking. Okay, f3. F3. Okay, sir. We're gonna, we're gonna turn off this game review because like this is way too advanced for us. So let's, let's go for one more game because we actually have time. The reason why I don't play rapid so much on camera is because I don't really have, you know, a lot of time. I mean, I can play like one game and that's the whole video. Uh, but like this, when we just subliminally win, we can play millions of games. This feels like blitzing, honestly, because these people... Okay, we do be playing Stafford. I was hoping for the GOAT, but we do be playing Stafford here, okay? I really wanted to play the GOAT, but... I wanted to play the god, but he didn't let me play the god. He wanted to play the Stafford Gambit. Okay, sir. Okay. I feel like Stafford is just like a fried liver for black in, in, in a way. Uh, okay, now we jump here. Now we jump here. Okay, we jump. We jump here. <laughs> We jump here and then we just like, uh, I don't know, maybe we will uh, we will do our little trick with winning the queen. Uh, maybe we will do, I don't know what we will do. I don't know what we, I don't know what we will do. Okay, now we can just take the pawn. Why take the pawn? Because the pawn do be here. The pawn do be freer. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay, 1,048 1, ELO points for my opponent. So can we beat him? Because he's a little bit higher rated. Just a little bit. So we're gonna go here, castle up. Maybe later, uh, somehow, um, sacrifice the, the bishop. Somehow, because this is looking grotesque. As <laughs> grotesque uh, type of position. Okay, so we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna castle up here because we are fearless and we do not care. He's already castled. It would be much better if my horse was here. So we kind of should reroute him. Uh, but the deal is we don't have enough defense here, okay? We do not have enough defense here. We do not have enough defense. So how could we make more defense here? Okay, if I go, if I like go queen d7. Uh, queen d7 and then like after that somehow I jump here and then if he takes uh, we can take with the queen and then I just exchange queens, right? Or am I losing a piece like I don't think I'm losing a piece like that. Okay uh, But kind of uh, it's miserable for my bishop to put queen on d7. Don't you think? So maybe we should just like go here, but then that's also very miserable for that bishop Okay, if we go here, that's ridiculous takes, and then I take back, and then he just takes my... Uh, okay, so we can go here, but no, that is also not defended, okay? That is this position. I am thinking queen uh, f6 now. I don't know why, though. I don't know why. 
I think with the horse just needs to be moved away, but we are actually just going to go here because I want to develop the bishop naturally. I don't want to be like tricky and then like, you know, then like die because of it. Okay? I don't want that. I don't want to I don't want to get into a bad position because of that. I don't want to get into a bad position because of that. Okay? We're going to go here to threaten trackmate. Oh, they're going to see the trackmate, okay? I don't know. I know, sir. Okay. Are you going to see the tracking mate, sir? Okay? Okay, so we go here and then we just win the bishop. Okay, we don't win the bishop, but we can still threaten check and mate. So let's see if he gonna, if he gonna, or if he gonna not, okay? Are you gonna defend from the check and mate? I mean, he has a lot of time. That's why I don't like rapid, because in blitz, if I threaten this mate, most of my opponents won't see it. Why? Because first, they're beginners. Second of all, uh, because, you know, they don't have any time, but like this... Like this, they have a lot of time. They have all of the time in the world. So why should they care, okay? We can go here. <clears throat> but that is just looking weird. Or is it looking weird? I mean, we. I think we can actually go there. I don't know. Let's, let's just follow our intuition on this one, okay? Let's just follow the intuition. Because uh, uh, we can... I think we should take like this to open up the rook. Because then we are kind of cooking something, I guess. Oh, but then the, the bishop do be falling. Oh, it's not. See, it's defended by the queen, uh, queen h3, actually. So I think that he might actually give a rook for this. Because I think my opponent going to be a little bit blind. Okay, he ain't blind. Come on, sir. He actually ain't that blind. Okay. Okay, opponento. Now it's time to crush your soul. So I think if we like sack here, uh, is that actually, I don't think that does anything. I don't think that does absolutely anything, but we can go here and then uh, if he like takes here, it's GG. <laughs> so we're just like here banking on our opponents, not knowing what's happening on the board. I mean, that's how you play beginner chess, guys. I, or is this intermediate? I don't know. I don't know. Am I now an intermediate or am I still a beginner? But I feel like even if I reach 2000 elo, I'm still gonna call myself a beginner. Why? Because first of all, I'm humble, which is a lie. <laughs> and second of all, uh, I'm, I mean, I really like to be called, calling myself a beginner. Why? Because if I make a mistake, then it's okay. Then like, I'm a beginner. So leave me alone, you know? So just like call yourself a beginner. Even if you're mastered something, you're still a beginner. Just be a beginner. Because then if you make a mistake, nobody can be like, oh, you should know that. You are supposed to. No, because I'm a beginner. I'm supposed to know absolutely nothing, sir. Okay, sir. So uh, are we gonna, we're gonna cook like, oh, uh, we're gonna cook like this probably so that we can actually like, I don't know. I think we should, we should do this. Maybe even sacrifice this, okay? We don't, we do not care. We do not care. We're gonna sacrifice the rook for the checkmate because the queen bishop combo do be looking very nice here. Uh, and his horse is looking weird. The horse do be looking weird, sir. Very weird, sir. Very, very. We could have also gone here, but the horse is defending this one, so we can't now. But we maybe could have done it before, okay? Okay, okay, this person do be a little bit tricky, but just a little bit tricky, okay? Not a lot tricky, because I'm the trickiest of the tricky. Okay, he do he really doesn't want me to sacrifice. Okay, wait, but I think I can still do it. If I sack here, and if he takes, and then we take, he just takes this, okay? So maybe we should lift up the rook and double them up, and then like that, he can't really do much. Or if you like take here, and then I don't know, he takes with a rook or whatever, uh, then we can go here and threaten checkmate, but then he can probably, if he takes with a queen, okay, he won't take with a queen, he will take with a rook, right? Because the queen then gonna fall, like if he takes here, then the queen is falling. So if we take here and he takes here, uh, that, that's the thing we're counting on right now. We can go here. And ignore all of that. And like if he takes a rook or something, uh, then we can go and deliver here whatever. But is that going to be a full checkmate though? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think we should give this bishop. I don't think we should give the bishop, okay? I really don't think we should do it. Uh, but if we sacrifice the rook, then he can uh, freely 
stick with the rook and then uh, we can't I mean we can take the rook back but then he takes the bishop I'm like calculating way too much here I don't know should I sack or not that's my deal that's my deal here maybe I should sack the rook here but then he just takes okay actually that's a good idea because if he takes with the knight then we are delivering the checkmate here and the position is open right but if he takes with a king, then what? If he takes with a king, then what? Then literally what? Should we do it though? Because if he takes with a king, what do we do then? What the, what do we do then? Okay, I think I'm gonna sack it. I'm gonna sack it. I'm gonna sack it. Because now I took almost two minutes for this move. So if my opponent, he took with a king. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, sir. He took with the king. Okay, we're going to go here, actually. Uh, or should we? Yeah, let's go here. Let's go here. We sacrificed the rook. The rook, dude. The rook. Uh, we, it, it took us two minutes for that. Maybe we shouldn't have actually done it. Uh, but I still wanted to, like, see if my opponent gonna take with the king or with the, with the knight. Because if he took with the knight, with the horse, then he woulda, woulda been in. Uh, but, like, this not. But, like... Um, Wait, if we take, uh, he can take with that rook. Okay, we, can gi uh, we can't give a check there. We can give a check here, though. Or should we give a check here, though? Okay, I think we're going to give a check with that rook. That rook, sir, that rook. Yeah, this position. We're now down three points of material because we sacrificed, of course, as we usually do. But, as I said, i rather play these types of position, okay? I'd rather do that. So, we can go here now, take this. Yeah, we can take this. And then if he takes here, which he probably will do, then we can go here. Okay, I think we're now kind of chilling. Are we chilling? Are we cooking, sir? Are we cooking? Okay, I think this is a pretty, actually, good game. Pretty good game, sir. Pretty good game. Okay, I think it's time now to try... Okay, this would be saucy. This would be very saucy. So, wait, he's kind of cut off. So, if you, like, take here, then he takes here with the queen, uh, we can go here with the queen... And then he's kind of dead, right? So I think we should do that. I think we should trade this up. Actually, no, he can't take with a queen, sir. He can't take with a queen. This is this was a free piece, okay? This was El Frio El PCO, okay? Okay, we can go here now. Actually, I think we should do that. Or we can just move the move the king. Honestly, let's move the king because uh, he doesn't have a dark square anything. Uh, dark squares are really bad for him, so maybe actually it's better for the long term to just move king h8 and that's it. That's at least my opinion, okay? Okay, now this is El Tricchio, kind of, because uh, he did this. Uh, but we can give a check here, like this, and block this rook. Uh, or, I mean, we can also give a check here. Uh, but then he can go down, and I don't really want that. So I think I should. I will go with the bishop check here. But I think uh, no. If he takes with the rook, we just want the rook for a bishop. So I think we're chilling. But the time usage, time usage here, sir. We should definitely hurry up. I was saying like, oh, wrap it so easy because we can flag the blah blah blah, sir. Okay, this is almost a checkmate but i think we can actually do this or should we do it with the rook let's do it with the rook honestly let's do it with the rook because next up queen gonna come okay he can go here then maybe this would actually be better oh my god i don't know there's so many options in this position uh that it's uh, literally ridiculous okay so we're gonna win the queen now We can exchange the queens, right? But then we're actually losing. What? If we exchange the queens, we are actually losing. So let's go here. Or like here. That's actually better because like that he can actually, I think, take our queen. I don't know what's happening, guys. I don't know. I wish you all were here. Okay, isn't that checkmate? 
Let's go! We won the dude! We won the dude! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Wasn't there mating one though? I if I before this. Okay, it wasn't right because this. Okay, okay, L O K O, sir. I do be playing two games for twenty minutes, but like. This was insane. Let's go a quick game review just to see the accuracy -o, uh, because this was insane. I won two games. I, I really didn't expect any of this, sir. I didn't expect any of this, sir. But this was insane. Do I have a brilliant? What's the... I have a brilliant move! I have a brilliant move! Let's go! Let's go! Those two minutes really paid off! Really paid off the rook! I sacrificed the rook! Oh, this was insane! This was insane! Okay, uh, after this, we did find the best move! Okay, but this was, uh, this was a miss. So you should have gone here and... What created two past pawns? Okay, sir, I didn't have a vision like that. I'm just the 1000 rated, okay? But we really did play well, look at this. Okay, move that king wasn't the best move. Probably protecting with the bishop was uh, was the best. Yeah, yeah, my intuition was right on this one. But here, see, this was good. Mating four, mating two, okay. Okay, there was mating one on the board. Uh, let's see what it was. Okay, so this is mate. Okay, I don't see these types of checkmates. This is just ridiculous. I don't see that type of thing. But like this, I, I did see 1450 estimates for me. That is crazy ridiculous. I have a brilliant middle game, guys. I have a brilliant middle game. What is happening? 1450 and 950 for my opponento. This is insane. Let's go and look at the brilliant rook sacrifice that took me two minutes to calculate, but I found it at the end of the day. Brilliant rook. A stunning move, guys. A stunning move. Okay, I'm very satisfied today. I'm very satisfied. This was amazing because if it takes with the knight here, uh, then you just de deliver the checkmate here, dude. Okay, so I, I can't believe this was actually brilliant because I was thinking Stockfish gonna say it like Zappa, uh, you know, something. But he actually agrees with me, which means I'm Zappa Zappa Engine, guys. Zappa Zappa Engine. Let's go, okay? Whew, this was amazing. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be it for, for the games because 22 minutes is a long, long video. And um, yeah, like I, I would really like to play more, but I think I should like make more live streams because it's like more more easier to like watch somebody live play like that. Because, like filming for like, I don't know, if I played five rapid games, that would be like literally over an hour and that would be crazy, okay? So uh, that is it. I'm gonna play no more. I'm very happy with the results though and I hope you're proud of me, guys. I really hope you are because this is insane and I'm actually kind of improving though. I'm kind of, kind of. So guys, that is it. Uh, I hope you like these games and I hope you like this video. I hope you liked uh, my commentary throughout it. I really had a lot of fun today and these opponents were actually very nice. Even though I did a brilliant rook sacrifice, he didn't actually fall for it, which means that my opponent is also very like good and advancing. So we all are just chilling, but I'm better. Okay, I'm just better than these opponents. I just do be, I just do be the chess doctor. Come on, okay? So <laughs> guys, uh, that is it for the games. I hope you enjoyed them i really had a ton of fun today and i'm very glad that i did this i'm very happy that i can share this with you all so uh, if you enjoyed it make sure to let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings and make sure to subscribe and like this if you already aren't check out the description for all of the info like discord soul crushers club donations memberships patreon playlists and things like that you can check it all in the description also and that is it guys so i wish you have a wonderful day make brilliant moves like this like i did today come on sir come on <laughs> okay so that's gonna be it from your chest doctor have a wonderful day guys be happy keep on smiling and just be a little bit crazy okay because look at me i'm a little bit crazy and i think that everybody should be a little bit crazy because your life is going to be more fun and you're going to enjoy it more if you be a little bit crazy. So just embrace your crazy side and just be chilling and go with the flow, sir. Okay, so that is it, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch me, which is just ridiculous. Thank you. And that is it. So I will see you all tomorrow in a new video. Once again, have the most wonderful day. And now I'm going to go and... <sighs> 
because I talk too much. Okay, so that is it. Love ya. Bye bye.